Hi there, my name is Brittany and I'm so incredibly excited to be here today to introduce you all to the new Evernote Home. Home is your new one-stop dashboard with all sorts of widgets designed to put your most relevant information front and center in a simple organized view. I want to start by showing you all the different widgets available to you at home. Let's go take a tour. First up is the note widget. You can view your recent and suggested notes from within this widget. Recent notes are sorted here by most recently edited. While suggested notes are based on a combination of notes you access, edit, or search for frequently. Clicking on this green arrow takes you quickly to the All Notes view. Headed back to home, let's check out the scratch pad. This is a great place to jot down notes and thoughts quickly right here in home. You can take a quick note and then convert it to a note by tapping on the three dots and selecting convert to note. From here, it creates your scratch pad content as a note right in your default notebook. If you are done with this content and you don't need it to be a note, you can simply clear it by selecting clear scratch pad. And what we'll do here is we'll move the scratch pad content in a note to your trash, just in case you need to get it later. Just so you know, the scratch pad is meant for quick thoughts, so it has a character limit of just 300. Moving on to the recently captured widget, this is so cool because it easily shows you the notes with all your recently captured content. There are sections for web clips, notes with images, documents, audio, and even emails. These notes are sorted by the most recently created. This last section is everything that Home has to offer for our premium and business customers. The ability to customize your home, make it your own, and extra widgets to maximize your productivity. Let's check out what these features have. Firstly, you can pin a specific note to your home for quick access. This is my favorite widget personally. It's simple to pin a new note. Just click the More Actions button, these three little dots, select Pin Note, and let's find a note to pen. I have a to-do list that I like to stay on top of, so it'll be really handy to see what I have left to do right here from within home. Now that we have that note penned, you can also change it from right here by clicking replace pen note, unpin the note as well. And if you need to jump straight to that note to be able to interact and edit with it, you can click open in new window or simply just follow the green arrow. Next up uh, is the notebook widget. The notebook widget works very similar to the notes widget. Recent notebooks are sorted by the most recently edited, while suggested notebooks here are based on a combination of notebooks you access, edit, or search for frequently. And lastly of the widgets are our shortcuts and tags. Shortcuts and tags are ways to quickly access any of your shortcuts and tags. Just like that. Finally, it can't be considered a home without making it your own, right? Customizing allows you to really make the place your own. Premium and business customers can move, resize, add or delete any widgets we just talked about. Let's check out Customize by selecting the Customize option in the upper right hand corner. From here, you'll see the option to remove a widget from your home. Also hovering over the widget allows you to change the widget size. Widgets are also dynamic in that they can be dragged and dropped from anywhere within. Let's add the recently captured widget back from the right hand widget panel. If you don't like any of the changes you made, there's also an option to just reset the default widgets down below. And lastly, you can also customize the header image in the background at the top. From the customize menu, select change background. From here, we've preloaded in here 12 images for you to choose from. All images here have been taken by an Evernote teammate. 
Super proud of all of our creative people here at Evernote. I love this colorful house image, so I'm gonna choose that as my new background and hit select. From here to save all of your edits, select done. There. Now I'm really feeling at home in Evernote. I truly hope you enjoy using this new feature in Evernote. Welcome home.